And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, season number 40. That is season number seven of KMR in the modern era. And we are getting ready to roll here um, in KMR, qualifying for the Daytona 500 or the NASCAR Heat 4 Daytona 500. And... One thing we saw was Dash number one over there, KMR TV 105 to drive. I want to thank those guys, Fractured Chain and the crew. Apparently, uh, JP Strunk a lot as well uh, for broadcasting that race for us and getting you to action. And now we've got the in outside row that's going to qualify. So we're getting ready to go in for that. And Paint, uh, you just nope. got done running and ended up winning that race, man. Um, how did the car feel? And what can we expect to see out there uh, um, as we get ready? The car felt pretty good, not going to lie. Um, felt like we had some hope, I guess, in, at a Daytona on NASCAR. I don't know, it was just, there wasn't a lot of people, so you're not really going to know how the cars are going to feel until you have the full field and you get to see who's racing what and who's going to take out the field first. <laughs> Who's gonna take out the field first? Alrighty. Spoken very well. So here we go. We're getting ready to get loaded in here. Uh, do y'all need an invite? You need an invite, you said? Y yes, please. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. And. Joining us in the booth is also, um, as I get to the right person. There's your invite to the game. Speed B, who is our official broadcaster of the season this it. season. Need it, mate. And of course, Slothy, who ran the previous race back in black. Who is back in black? So welcome back. Well, you're not in black. You're in yellow this time. How's <laughs> yeah. it feel to be back in the car? How's it feel to be back oh, in the car? I right? love. Uh, plus, I'm driving for a different manufacturer this year, guys. I'm no longer with Hendrick. All right. Be sure to include y'all's audio, by the way. Don't know whether you did. Nope. Okay. So we're getting loaded in here at Daytona for the qualifier, and we're already ready to go and already in action. And Fractured Chain in the 20 is returning. Why is Fractured? Uh, well, of course he has to qualify for the 500. Never mind. I was gonna say, why is he in a qualifier race? Well, you know. but anyway, Fractured Chain in the 20, controlling the lines right now. He wants that outside pole alongside you, Paintbrush, and so uh, this should be very, very interesting. One thing I noticed while I was racing is that apron, man, if you tap it, it really kills the momentum that you can have in a race. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? It definitely does. I can tell you from my memory, it's side by side. It put, it pushed me into the apron just a little bit and paid my run for about a good lap, lap and a half for me to catch back up to you and start making uh, runs again. Yeah, so did y'all recognize something? There's a Lamba car in P3 and P2 right now. Yeah, I also here. recognize there's a car off the field, <laughs> off the racing surface that came back. It Let's see if we can get an angle on that. That's Omari. Omari got, I guess, way loose there. And, uh -oh. uh, went way off the track. Uh, he's getting this. himself together, and so he's got to start in the back. And look back there, in the way back there in the back. Um, okay, give me one second. We'll get you taken care of. That's Beloved, and Beloved is battling with Hindu back there in the back of the field right now. So, Who's in the 78 um, that is cars? huge. Uh, the 78 is Speedy. That is Speedy, who is trying to do something on the high side there. He's really peeing like I was, in a way. Um, trying to battle for the... Uh, the outside pole position. So, try to keep an eye, see if he can get through. We know he is one of the best that KMR has to offer when it comes to restricted plate racing. So, we'll have to keep an eye on and him. Guys, Speed B, you the, need the invite, correct? And, guys, mm -hmm. by the way, the 18 car did blow a motor in the first duel. So, I'll be able to start tailing before. 
Okay. Back to the track. Fractured chain hanging on to that lead, and he has nothing but teammates behind him. He has to feel good. As a matter of fact, talked to him before the race and all through the weekend, and he said he does feel good about the 19 and the 11, which are Dale Jr., who is returning to KMR after a long time away from the league, as well as JP in the 11 car. So really feeling good about both of those guys there's jp strunk in the 11 and right now they are tucked in line get, making it hard for speedy in this dash race yeah it just sucks as of now i'm watching my teammates they're one two three they'll be starting right at the front of the field now i have to work my way up two to catch the hook on to them yeah but let me ask you something man as you see they're battling <laughs> Fracture's yeah. battling hard. He doesn't care if it's Here a comes teammate Dale. or not, Here man. Comes He's going to... And they swap Dale. positions, and now the 19 is sitting there in second. But you know what? That just kept Speedy right there on the high side. Right there uh, in striking distance. And, uh, and as oh, the last comes... kick down, don't think Speedy is not going to try something. So we, we want to make that very clear off the bat. Speedy, but let me ask you something. Um, let me ask you something back in black. Let me ask you, do you think... How easy do you think it's gonna to be to get through the field at the when the Daytona the Heat four or five hundred starts? You have to have you will have to have uh, both lanes going. You'll have to have somebody that can pull a high lane up to the front pack and try to get past the front pack with the high lane. And side by side now action fractured. Oh wow! Throws the eleven there into the wall. Uh, that was a teammate. Oh, Dale's pushing. Oh, JP's got the Maybe they're yet. out of spots. Yeah, J JP's, uh... I think they might be out of spots in the lobby. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I don't know what Dale to Dale Jr. That. wants that outside pole to be on alongside paintbrush. I'm telling you, he wants it. Yeah, we can do that. As laps tick down here, Daytona, we apologize for having a, 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 uh, some technical difficulties with one of our broadcast booth guys, uh, ironically the main guy that's going to be broadcasting for this season, so we really got to get that taken care of. As they are, <laughs> yeah, as Fracture Chain has led every lap of this dash, number two, he really wants the outside lane and... Uh, We've seen several changes, but the biggest change that we want to uh, give attention to right now is that guy sitting in second. Let's go on board with him uh, from the hood. This is what it looks like on the hood outside of his car. And if you're fractured, you are having a conniption right now because Speedy fracture a lot of history on and off the track. And Speedy is one of the best restricted plate racers KMR. Uh, a lot of restricted plate history is one of the races. So, your fractures, you're doing everything you can in that rear view mirror to keep this guy behind you because he is hot. This man hot man. He did the victory line. Um, paint, paint, what is Fracture doing right now to keep that 78 behind him? Oh, uh, he's doing a little bit of looking in the mirror, so he's a girl, and just thinking what his next move is going to be. See, if anybody's gonna get the high line, we're gonna see if they're gonna do a high line swap, put Fracture in the back, and get him going on the top. But I think, I think they're just waiting to see if anybody's gonna make a move. Move here because you know it's three to there's one no Chevy, but I can tell you from me being in the front exactly what we see right now is Speedy going up and gonna get blocked, but, but also me being in the front. Uh, these reciprocates, it's, it's hard when you have people behind you ready to make a move. You just gotta be focused and patient and ready to, to attack when you need to attack. Yeah, I agree 100%. As you saw there, Speedy try, gotta try something. And unfortunately, that move cost him a position. So now he's gotta work back around the 11. It won't be that hard, but he's gotta work back around the 11 
uh, to get back up to the bumper of the 20. In the meantime, you also have to make sure that you don't close open the door for the 19 of Dale Jr., who is looking really good. He has lasted the whole race. Has not told. Just as I start talking about that, Dale Jr. going for a ride, and he he wrecks the car. Now that part, that pack back there in the back is so far back. That is more than likely not going to throw a caution. I don't know where we are in laps. I do apologize about that. But I will say that, that that's not what you want to see in terms of um, his whole front end is what strong. you're trying to do. His whole front nose, if you ride along with him, his whole nose is caved. Yeah, we got 11, 11 of 14 uh, laps complete here. So you won't see a caution, but. What a killer for the 19 who's doing so well. Let's get you yeah. back uh ooh, wrong button. Let's get you back up front. JP in the 11 behind his teammate. And Speedy, he's eliminated one Toyota. Now he's got to try to get another one to get himself back up in position. And time is running out for him. If JP would just stay on the bottom, uh, you'll see him take Toyota's just pull. And uh, it'll block that 78 from getting uh, around them. That might be true, but I tell you this, if I'm the 78, I'm stuck to the 11's back bumper. And what the problem with that is, I'm gonna push the 11 even when he doesn't wanna be pushed, which means he could actually force a doorway to push the 20 up top. That allows me and the 11 to go through. And between the 11 and the 20, which one's easier to pass? I would say the 11. So there's still some strategy there. The 11, the 11's got to do some block work in order to help keep that line, keep that uh, that that line of. Oh, he just hit the eight and moved the 78 up the track. Ooh. Coming to the white flag. Um, it looks like Fractured has this one. The 78 desperate though, he's got to do something. And this is not the time for the 11 to slip up. We're coming to the white flag. White flag is out for the field. White flag is out. Fractured is going to take the white flag. He's got a couple more times around. Coming into two, one and two for the last time. Able to hold that 20 intact, hold his teammate next to him. JP, who's actually a coming into his own at restrictor plates. He's actually becoming a very good restrictor plate racer. He's making moves. He just moved to the high side. Okay, I thought he was gonna go. I was like, oh buddy. But uh, I think he's gonna stay loyal. I don't know, let's see. Uh, no, but the 70, he makes room for the 78. Now the 78 has the bottom. Here he comes, he's gonna make contact with the 11. The 11's in the wall. Here comes Speedy to the line. No, he gets it back. Fractured is gonna start outside pole. Second place is the 11. <laughs> Speedy is going to take the third place. Wow, what a race there. On that note, that was uh that was a hard, hard battle. And I tell you what, Speedy was so close to getting the pole there that uh, I was I was good. Okay. <laughs> wow. 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 The nineteenth. Ouch, that hurts. He's going to start last back there in the back with the 18 of uh, back in black. But I tell you, oh, man, what a race. And unlike our guys over there, the KMR TV 105 to drive, but we're actually going to interview some people. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there? You know, I don't know what they don't. I don't know, man. But we're actually going to actually interview people this time because that didn't make no sense last time. <laughs> I didn't even get an interview. I mean, I worked my butt off and I didn't get an interview. What's up with that one? Uh, uh, we're going to have to get an interview. But anyway, we're going to invite Speedy here, who is uh, in the 78 and uh, was able to finish uh, darn well. Did a really good job. Speedy, include your audio. Uh, why don't you get in? 
Speedy, this is uh, KMR TV booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. Great. Be sure to include your audio. I got two questions for you. Number one, whenever somebody finishes in the top three, what is the, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to interview them. Now, I mean, Paintbrush won on the poll. He didn't get an interview. I finished third. I'm working my butt off. I didn't get an interview. What is what was going on over there on that side of the that side of the party? I just I just got to know. Okay, okay I got to go. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're going, uh, I think yeah, we're, we're going focused to. on getting reset for the next race. That we spaced it. Okay, well I'll let y'all slide on that one. You know, it, the the preseason hasn't exactly officially ended, so I'm gonna let you slide. Man, it was a great battle out there. So my second question, man, how what was it like out there? What's it like to be back in the car for a semi-official race? Um, it was interesting. It was really hard because I I had no teammates and I was battling three teammates. <laughs> um. I was just trying to make moves I needed to make, and just I try to I try to um, turn the two teammates against each other there at the end, and try to convince one to go <laughs> to try try to get me a, a better finish, and it almost worked, but it didn't. So it is what it is. I'll take third. Yeah. So um, what you started so far up on the grid? What's your thought process heading into the 500? Um. Try to stay consistent, try to stay smooth, and just avoid anything that happens and be there at the end. That's going to be my goal. There you go, man. Third place. Not bad to start for CMR, man. We got most of the cars up front, so that's great. We'll let you go on that one. All right, next up, we're going to invite in our second place finisher. That was the driver of the 78. You saw him battling a lot. He was battling with this guy. This guy all of a sudden thinks he's a restrictor plate specialist. We're going to have to talk to this guy. We're going to have to bring him back down to earth. Hey. J uh, JP, this is... Uh, JP, this is uh, Cookie in the Kmart TV booth. We got a copy, bud. Uh, Roger. All right, all right. Be sure to include your audio. Paintbrush is going to interview on this one. All right. <clears throat> I am. <laughs> Do you want to? <laughs> I want the interview fractured, but okay, you got it. I got it. Okay, well, yeah, um, you can do fracture. All right, all right, you can do right. fracture if you want. Yeah, we can do fracture. I can do. I can do. Uh, I can do you, man. Uh, you, you look good out there. How did it feel running up front and uh, and back in the car there at Daytona for KMR, man? Uh, I felt great, man. Having I had the fastest car at the race. I mean, I was feeling great. You know, uh, just I I didn't. Oh, gee, now paintbrush laughing. Thanks, paintbrush. Thanks for your support. <laughs> Um, you see, we got haters in the party, so, um, uh, Zach. Um, oh, I like it. Okay. How was, like how was that, how was that championship? How was that championship last season, right, but, bud? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. But uh, then again, you know, just being back in the car again, just uh, just feeling the rush, you know, it feels great, you know. Had a, but, I, but then had a little uh, contact with Dale. I didn't, yeah, I'm still trying to figure, he, I, I was trying to bump and push him, but then I kind of got into him. So I kind of I felt bad because I didn't know if I wrecked him or not, and I really felt bad after the race because. But then uh, there was one part of the race where he he they all had a good car, but he got loose, and uh, wrecked. Yeah, so, you saw that. Um, so your start, uh, you're starting, you know, second place on the outside lane. Yeah, fourth. How, what's your mindset? Do you think that you can go out there and win the Daytona 500 and win a stage from your starting position? I think I could. I just need to make the right like right moves, and there's got to be. A t I need to figure out the times I need to be aggressive because because there's times where you can be aggressive, and there's times you cannot be. You just got to know those times to where you can make moves and where you cannot make moves. Because where I'm starting, I know I so I got to. I know I got to for turn one. I got to stay, but then uh, on the back stretch, I need to figure out what I can do to lead some laps and try to win stage one or stage two or stage three. Because I want to be in contention for the championship this season, I'm going to have to uh, make some right strategy calls, and I need to be up be up there consistently, and make sure I can show that my 11 car is pretty good. Yep, you're right about that one. It was good to see you running up front, man, and 
We'll get you on out of here, but uh, yep, next uh, we're going to talk to. Hey, no problem. Next, we're going to talk to outside pole winner Fractured Chain because comes right back and just thinks he's doing something and and everything. And paint, I want you to handle this. Obviously, handle this um, broadcast. But I got something I want to ask first before you know you uh, before you start the broadcast and start drinking. I, I just have something I have to ask. Mm-hmm. Um, name Guess is who's back. KMR back, TV back, booth. Back again. 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 Yeah, we're, we're yeah. Back. KMR TV booth. But you, you obviously got a copy. You obviously got a copy. Uh, paintbr- paintbrush is going to interview you, but I got a question. I have uh, a question. What's that question? What would he okay, got Okay, so... How is it that you get an interview, but I don't get an interview, and Paintbrush don't get an interview? And then, oh, we can in get you an interview. Day. Don't worry about that. I don't. We, we can get you one. You want one? We can get you one after this. Oh uh, well, well, it's too late now. It's too late. We already <laughs> ran the dash. Cookie is fractured chain from his race car. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to <laughs> hear it. <laughs> I think you get to hear it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Paintbrush, take it away, man. Take it away. <laughs> All right. Fracture chain. Yes. Uh, how are we doing this evening? Um, we're doing. You know, we're doing. <laughs> That's great. We're doing. How, how, but, how, how <laughs> everything's car? great. Uh, really tight on exit. Um, we're probably gonna have to cut the apron out of Daytona. Uh, cause it is just a death trap. Let me tell you that. Every time you hit that apron, it shoots you up, it shoots you down, it shoots you sideways, it shoots you in every direction that you can have it. It's really tough. It's something that we still got to get used to, but I, I'm just really glad we can get out of here with that win. And that, that was stressful, especially <laughs> at the end there. Speedy, uh, I was talking to Ogans, like Speedy, or I was like, Ogans, two to go, man. We Go at it. This is where we race here in this team. We don't call team orders. And t- Speedy's like, I'm going to push you, Ogans. Let's go. I'm like, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> and it all worked out at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, this season, you're back from your lovely, your, your long retirement of the beaches in mm, That's Hawaii. right. <laughs> so, you <laughs> I came, wish. You came to uh, Toyota, Joe Gibbs. How, how's yes. everything going on Gibbs so far? Uh, I, I think there's a couple kinks within the team right now, especially after that dash, but it's nothing we can't work out. I was really impressed with our drivers. Um. In the end, I think it was good. I know Slothy had some really tough luck with the lag out, but I, I know he'll be back, and he, he'll tell us all about how he'll be back pretty soon <laughs> next time we all talk to him. But, uh, yeah, I, I know he'll be up front. I, I think Dale, with the aggression he showed today, if he can tone it down just a bit, he can definitely be a front runner as well because he looked really good. But in our team right now, it, everything's going pretty well for us. So you're starting second. That's right. I'm starting first. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, kind of kind of brings back two Daytona 500s to go fracture chain. Mm, that's right. It does. When I pushed I you to the win. I wonder who won that 500. Mm. I wonder who fa- I wonder who remember? second that race. Mm. 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 I do. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Everything's great. Time to get the, time, time to get the shark mask for this season. Oh yeah. I'll make sure I wreck you with that shark mask. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so I'm a I'm gonna do a little fracture tradition. Who would you like to mm. thank for winning Ooh. the lovely Ooh. dash race? <laughs> uh, you know the dash is the Daytona 500. So I want to thank all my sponsors that were on this uh, Joe Ooh, Gibbs racing sponsors? Toyota Camry. Are you even a driver? Um. Um. Uh, paintbrush paints. <laughs> <laughs> uh, KMR TV 105 The Drive. Um, I want to thank Slothy, Dale, and All Guns. They've been very big help throughout this week. They've been pestering me to practice, and I've been like, hey, I don't want to practice, but we ended up practicing, and in the end, it went well. I think I think we're all set up for a good Daytona 500. Hey, uh, Fracker, I have a little joke for you. Mm, the last not. time, no, it was not knock knock. So last time, he was <laughs> in the 20 car. There was a 43 car at Richmond. Just make sure there's no 43 <laughs> oh, car at Richmond this okay. season. Okay, that's uh. <laughs> I don't remember that race, so <laughs> <Yeah>. we're gonna. 
We're gonna go celebrate with our team, man. That was an awesome race, though. What I want to thank everyone. Thank, thank Cookie for doing the broadcast. Speedy, Speed being you, you for the broadcast. I know. I can't wait to watch it back. I'm pretty sure it was entertaining, especially. And I'm thinking, Speedy, I hate you. Um, you know, and yeah. See y'all later. <laughs> 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 well, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you see, because in some manufacturers, in some manufacturers, we let our drivers race, unlike us. Hell. Oh boy. Well, before things get any more real than what they are, we're gonna bid you adieu. This has been Cookie Paintbrush and the whole crew. Oh, Speed B definitely, and the whole Speed crew up here. Stay tuned because we're gonna have the Speed report, and we're definitely gonna have the uh, KMR exclusive episode. So stay tuned. Much more to come. The Daytona 500 will be on KMR TV 105 The Drive, and it will be on November 24th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a Sunday, so you don't want to miss it. And we bid you adieu now. I just. <laughs>